<laughs> First, you can get amazing skin tone using camera raw. After you touch your image, just create the stamp visible layer by pressing your Ctrl Shift Alternate E and just come to your filter and click on camera raw right here. The first thing I'm going to do inside of camera raw, I'm just going to come to my calibration tab right here and just scroll the way down to the blue primary and just increase the saturation of the blue primary up. So as you can see, it has boosted the overall colors of the image, especially the blues. So see the before and the after, the before and the after. And you can choose to stop here if you want, but let's take this a little bit further. The next I'm going to do, I'm just going to come to my masking right here and just select the background. Now once I select the background, I'm just going to reduce the highlights on the background a little bit like this. Okay. Now I'm going to take that the exposure of the background a little bit like so. The next I'm going to do, I'm going to click on create new mask right here and just select the subject. And this time I'll just increase the exposure of the subject to make it pop a little bit. So I'll come to my light right here and just move the exposure up a little bit to about plus 0 0.25. So like this works for me. So this is the before and the after. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come to mask right here again. And this time I'm just going to select only the skin of the subject, not the entire subject, just the skin of the subject. Okay. Now to do that, just come to your select people right here. I'm just going to analyze the image. Okay. Now you can see, you can choose to select the entire person, but I don't want to do that. So I'm going to uncheck the entire person and I'm just going to click on the face to select the face and click on the body skin to select the body skin and click on create. So right now we have already skin selected. Now I'm just going to scroll all the way down and just come to this place right here, this hue and just click on use refine adjustment right here. Once I check this use refine adjustment, I'm just going to move this place right here and just take it towards minus six. Let's see minus seven or minus six. So you can see minus 6.1 right here. So let me just show you the before and the after. Now next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come back to my mask and just create a radial mask right here like so. And I just want to darken this part right here a little bit. So I'm going to darken this part and just come down to light and just reduce the exposure of that particular place like so. And next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create another mask again. Click on linear gradient and just move the gradient down like this and just add a little bit of exposure to that place to make the face a little bit more brighter okay so this is the before and the after now next i'm going to do i'm going to come to my general adjustment again and just come to color grading right here now for this color grading i want to add a specific color to the shadow the mid-tones and the highlights so this is the shadow right here i'm just going to add a little bit of science to the shadow area like so Okay, and also I'll come to the mid-tones and just add a little bit of oranges or yellows to the mid-tones a little bit just like so. Okay, now for the highlights, I'm just going to add a little bit of oranges and yellow to the highlight so that the sun on the background is going to look really, really good. So I'm just going to add a little bit of oranges or yellows to the highlights a little bit like that. Okay. So like this works for me, I feel it's too much. I'm just going to take it all the way down a little bit like so for the highlights. All right. So it's looking good like this for me. So this is the before and this is the after. Now, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come to my color mixer right here. Now under my color mixer, I'm just going to boost the saturation of the oranges just to make the skin to look more natural. So I'm going to take it up a little bit like this. So like this works for me. So let me show you where from where we are. So this is the before and this is the after. Now, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come to my curves adjustment layer. I just want to add a little bit of faded look to make it have that more cinematic look. So I'm just going to fade it a little bit. So with this light here layer selected, which is this first one right here, which is the general, I'm just going to add a dot on the shadow, add a dot on the mittens, and add another one on the highlight. And after that, I'm just going to move the shadow slider up a little bit like this to add that faded look to the image just like that so like this works for me the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to come to effect and just add a little bit of grains like so so this is the before and the after 
and just add a little bit of textures to the image just to sharpen it a little bit like so and finally i'm just going to come to my light again and just add contrast to the image a little bit like so so let me just show you where we started from and where we are right now so this is the before and the after the before and after you can see the image is popping right now it's looking really really good so i'm going to click on ok and open this image in photoshop now if you feel the effect is too much you can just reduce the opacity a little bit like so but i like the effect like that so i'm going to leave it in 100 so this is the before and the after you can do the show right here to watch how you can retouch your image with just one click i'll see you guys in my next one stay creative